welcome students in ba part first we were discussing our essay that is spectator club yesterday we discussed the second member of spectator club in our book and today we are going to read the third member of our spectator club as in very starting we discussed that the spectator club is a fine example of characterization what the characterization is characterization in which writer provides the details and uh, the various types of features the merits and demerits in one view in one seat if a writer provides clear statement clear behavior and conduct जिसको वी कैन से द पार्ट्स एंड मेरिट्स एज वी डिस्कस्ड इन द डिटेल ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट मेंबर सर रोजर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिटेल इन विच राइटर प्रोवाइड्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द कंसेप्शन रिलेटेड टू सर रोजर इन लास्ट वीडियो स्टडी वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सेकेंड मेंबर एंड वी ऑल्सो डेस्क्राइब दैट राइटर नेवर प्रेजेंट हिज नेम and uh, we are calling him only lawyer as the member of inner temple but today in third video of this essay we are just going to read our third member that is the third member and uh, the name of third member right also provides the name of third member sir andrew free port you are requested to come on book that is page number page number 8 third member the name of third member right presents so his name sir andrew freeport sir andrew freeport as in very starting we discussed every member of spectator spectator club belong to different profession and in this type of different profession we discussed about the first member and the first member was a very reputed person in the second member we discussed he belongs to the profession of law as he was a lawyer and today in third member again there is a next profession that sir andrew freeport was a businessman a vyapari belonging to the marketing trade and commerce in this type of a character which we are going to read now still speaks about various types of the thoughts and the views related to the personality and character of sir andrew now you just come and read in your book i am repeating the line the person of next consideration is sir andrew freeport the person of next consideration means in our company in our club the person on which we are going to consider now on which we are going to discuss now on which writer is speaking now that is the person and he is sir andrew freeport sir andrew freeport is third member and right now projects the detail a merchant of great eminence in the city of london eminence very prestigious bahut acha jana pehchana naam tha a merchant of great eminence very popular and a famous merchant tha merchant businessman tha ek vyapari tha in the city of london london shahar ke andar so we know that the third member of spectator club is a great businessman and uh, he was a merchant his name is sir andrew to so same as the profession the features of sir andrew also dealing with the trade market and related to the commerce a person of indefeasible industry prishram itna jyada prishrami vyakti tha kabhi thakta nahi tha you can understand a very great hard worker a very you can say person dedicated towards the business totally dedicated towards his trade and market acha vyakti tha strong reason very logical person tha bada taakib vyakti tha and great experience or we can say that he was uh, an experienced business acha business ka acha usko matlab anubhav tha and 
एंड इसके बाद जो बातें इंपोर्टेंट है वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन स्टार्टिंग दैट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू रीड एवरी लाइन ऑफ द एस ए तो वी जस्ट सिलेक्ट द इंपोर्टेंट लाइन्स एंड वट इज मोर इंप्रेसिव रिलेटेड टू दैट फीचर एंड रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्सनैलिटी देर इज द लाइन जो राइटर ने लिखी है सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन सर एंड यू फ्री पोर्ट की ये है कि ही वॉज ए टोटली बिजनेस मैन और अकॉर्डिंग टू द फ्यूचर ऑफ ए बिजनेस मैन हिज व्यूज हिज आइडियाज आर ऑल्सो रिलेटेड विद बिजनेस मैन लेकिन वन थिंग दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर दैट इज वेरी यू कैन से लाइकली टू बी ऑब्जर्व इन द बिहेवियर ऑफ एंड्रू फ्री पोर्ट दैट He was the founder of various maxims and proverbs. कई प्रकार की कहावतें और जो मुहावरे होते हैं उनका वो बड़ा शौकीन था और ये सारी सारी जो प्रोवर्ब्स होती थी ऑल दीज आर जनरली रिलेटेड विद द एरियाज ऑफ बिजनेस और जितनी भी प्रोवर्ब्स थी देर इज वन सिंगल प्रोवर्ब विच ही लाइक द मोस्ट उसकी सबसे पसंदीदा थी and uh, we are discussing that is also educational proverb that is also important isme likha hai in double inverted comma the greatest favorite is a penny saved is a penny bought i am repeating this here and try to understand the meaning of this proverb the very important is just come on the line number after 10 to 12 lines ke baad aaya hai ye a penny said is a penny bought what are important to this is the line like it to be quoted here a very remarkable proverb a penny saved is a penny bought penny that is a symbolic word you can use it as the minimum scale of money in our local language we can speak it about paisa in common language you can say about it a rupaya bhi nahi you can say about it paisa a penny saved agar apne ek paisa bachaya is a penny bought iska matlab aapne ek paisa prapt kar liya we are describing it clearly that if you save one rupees single one rupee if you save single one rupee means today complete day there is total expenses by you and then you can save 5 rupees suppose that today all of your expenses you can save 5 rupees today ha na it means that this is your earning of 5 rupees today it is your credit that you earn 5 rupees ek paisa bachana ek paisa prapt karna hai saving is the productivity as we are calling uh, in the matter of electricity jaise bijli ke bare mein there are various slogans by electricity department our electricity department will listen that the electricity is limited and saving is its production iski bachat hi utpadan hai so this is also lift a penny saved is a penny bought if you save one single penny that means you are going to earn that one single penny iske baad ek achhi baat usne aur kahi hai likha hai isne a general trend of good good sense is presenter company than a general scholar bahut achhi baat hai that is not a universal never consider any line of an essay as the universal truth that is the sentiment of the writer a general trader ek samanya vyapari of good sense lekin buddhi achhi ho jiske paas dimag acha ho is presenter company wo zyada achhi company ho sakti hai than a general scholar ek samanya vidwan ki bajaye yani writer ne scholar ki bajaye व्यापारी को ज्यादा अच्छी कंपनी वाला बताया है अकॉर्डिंग टू राइटर ए पर्सन दैट हैज द नॉलेज ऑफ बिजनेस इज मोर बेटर इट इज गुड कंपनी देन देर इज ए कंपनी ऑफ ए ग्रेट स्कॉलर 
एक विद्वान की बजाय एक बिजनेसमैन जो व्यापारी है अच्छी बुद्धि वाला उसकी संगति ज्यादा बेटर होते हैं तो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट मैटर रिलेटेड टू द आस्पेक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस दिस इज द व्यूज ऑफ राइटर वी नेवर डिस्कस अबाउट एनीथिंग एक इसने इंपॉर्टेंट बात और बताई यू जस्ट कम ऑन सेम पेज सेम पैराग्राफ लाइन नंबर सिक्स सेवन पे आइए He is acquainted with commerce in all its parts. He is acquainted, वो परिचित था, acquainted था with commerce व्यापार से. In all its part, व्यापार के सारे part से, every aspect related to trade and commerce means as he was a businessman, so it is a, a natural habit in the behavior that he was very well familiar with the every part of commerce. और उसने लिखा है and will tell you that it is a stupid and barbarous way achhi baat hai and will tell you wo aapko kya batata hai it is a stupid and barbarous way ye ek good for jangli tarika hai to extend dominion by arms agar aap shastra se apni bhujaon se agar apne vyapar ka chhetra badha rahe ho dara dhamka karke shastra ka prayog karke apne babu bal se अगर आप अपना व्यापार बढ़ा रहे हो ये एक मतलब वो आपको कहेगा कि जंगली तरीका या मूर्ख तरीका है इट इज नॉट ए गुड वे टू एक्सटेंड योर बिजनेस मींस राइट टू प्रोवाइड हाउ टू एक्सटेंड योर बिजनेस हाउ वी कैन एक्सटेंड आवर बिजनेस हाउ वी कैन एक्सटेंड द लिमिट्स ऑफ आवर बिजनेस एंड ही प्रिवेंट ही सेज दैट इट इज ए वेरी डर्टी वे It is a very bad way. It is a very stupid and barbarous way. If you extend your business with your physical power, with your physical strength, with your money, with your arms, that is not a good way. So, what does it say? What is the good way to extend business? It says that fortune power is to be got by art and industry. Two important matter, two important factor that is must to extend business. so there is the reason what is the way to extend business according to writer there is two way by which you can extend your business or that is art and industry aapki mehnat aapki kala art means kala that is art how to extend business there is two type of the method two type of the ways on which writer gives more importance that you can extend your business with industry means your hard work your dedication towards business and second your art your mind your strategies how to extend business so these are the basic features related to our third member that was sir andrew and uh, in this behavior of sir andrew we discussed that everything was related with the business everything was related to the trade and market all his knowledge is also related and two important matter that is related to his behavior that must be noticed everywhere one important is he provided a very beautiful a very educational proverb that is a penny saved is a penny bought or second important how to extend how to extend our business so business can be extended with your art and with your hard work and your dedication it never be extended with the power of arms and power of money so in the next video we will discuss the fourth member of spectator club